So now the uh, the important thing is, uh, is that afflicted emotion, sorry, afflicted mm -hmm. emotion, is is the ultimate is the enemy or the source of suffering. And and also the is that is the afflicted emotion. Once it uh, develops uh, within our mind, it immediately is it destroy our peace of mind. And eventually it destroy our health. And also it destroy our friendship with other people. So all these negative activities, such as killing, or bullying, cheating, all these negative actions is it come out of this effective emotion. Uh, so is it that's the real enemy. That's the destroy of our peace, destroy of our fortune and including our health. So therefore that's the enemy, real enemy. External enemy today may be harmful to you, but next day may be very helpful. But this is the inner enemy, always remain as a uh, destructive. And moreover, that enemy, wherever you live, always there. That is very dangerous. Uh, external enemy, we can put some you see, defensive you see, measure. The, and also, you see, uh, like you see, 59, uh, we escaped. So, you see, we can, we can escape. Uh, but there is this, this enemy, even whether in Tibet or whether in Potala, whether in Dansala, whether in, 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 here in, in London, enemy, wherever I go, this enemy there. <laughs> Even I think some, some kind of meditation, some kind of you see, the visualization of mandala, still in the very center of the mandala, that enemy is still there. <laughs> so uh, this is the point now. We have to realize that. Now the question, so you see the, uh, the real destroyer of our happiness, always there. How to do now? Uh, if there is, uh, what say, uh, no possibility, if there is uh, no possibility is it to overcome that, to eliminate that, then I think better forget. And I think, uh, I think relying more alcohol, sex, all these things, <laughs> much better. If there is possibility is it to eliminate that, then I think now we must take this good opportunity, this is human body human brain, human good heart, combine these two things, try is it, to reduce that and eventually eliminate. So therefore, is it Buddhist, according to Buddhist teaching, our human body is precious. Why? Because of human intelligence. And it is shaping or it is changing our mind, not only through emotion, but mainly through intellectuals, reasoning. And there are two kinds of emotion. One emotion without any reason, just as a fear, such as if you hate it or these things. Of course, there are superficially some reasons for this person is very sort of harming on me. Uh, and then through that kind of analysis, you see, you develop hate it. But in deep down, and further goes, there's not much, you see, reasons. So you see, these emotion without, without proper sort of reasons, that's the negative emotion. And the other kind of emotion, such as compassion, altruism, a kind of emotion, but with reasons. And to further investigate, you can prove that is something good, that is something necessary, that is something useful. So that kind of emotion is also the type of emotion, but very much valid, um, very much go uh, well with reasons or inter intelligence. So the combination, intelligence, and emotion. That is the way to change, to change our, uh, our inner world. So said, that also, I think, the, 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 how say, the, the, the basic fundamental, the uh, suffering nature, right? suffering nature. So long, that enemy there, so long we are under that enemy's control. Uh, no permanent happiness. So once you develop some kind of keen desire uh, 
to overcome that enemy. Now that is the so that is called um, that is the true um, uh, realization of the aspiration to seek freedom. Uh, which is technically called uh, renunciation in, in the Buddhist uh, language. So so you see we uh, uh, this practice they analyze our emotional level and our inner inner world is the very important is the key key practice.